to my channel if you're new welcome my name is Zoe and today I'm going on a three-hour road trip to pick up some new friends yep three hours down spending a couple hours down there and turning around and doing it three hours back it's gonna be a great time guys for those of you that didn't know, I went to school five hours away from home and was constantly doing that drive back and forth. So I'm really sick of car rides. I have not recovered yet, even though that was December that I graduated and I haven't gone anywhere in here this March. No, it's April now. And yeah, so I'm still sick of driving, but this one's gonna be worth it. So it's currently 8 a.m. I got a little bit of a late start to the day, but I've got my breakfast. And I went to the bank so I could have money. Um, and yeah, so now we're on the road. All right, I have now been in the car for three and a half hours. I am exhausted. And I'm finally getting to the first stop to pick up the first animal. And then I get to turn around, drive half an hour back into the city where I get to hang out for a little while, go get lunch at Chick-fil-A. You guys know how much I love Chick-fil-A. And then I just stay you know, hang out, hit the pet store until my next meetup. Okay, I have now made it the full hour back into the city. I didn't realize how far this guy's house was, apparently. I am exhausted, I am tired, I have a headache, and oh my god. So I have a really bad habit of going and picking up things from Craigslist without anyone coming with me. Today was one of those days where I kind of wish I had someone with me. This location was a very kind of sketchy location, way out in the middle of nowhere. Um, I didn't realize that this was going to be a smoker's house, so I did get the snake from a smoker's house, and it was a very heavily smoked in house. Like, people were smoking while I was there, and it was very strong and I still feel kind of like when I left I had to drive to the nearest gas station with my windows rolled down trying to air myself off and as soon as I got to the gas station I went in and I washed my hands super well because it was like it was that dense I was only in there for about three minutes so yeah he was very, very nice though Yes, now I have the snake over here. Let's see if we can see him. He's very gorgeous and very well behaved. Hi! So there he is. Hello! Hi! I'm not sure my name yet. Hello! He's very pretty and very well behaved for a milk snake. Didn't mind me coming in and handling him at all. Now I'm just wasting time, so I'm at Pet Supplies Plus. And I'm gonna head up the local pet store down the road to get some feeders and just kind of hang out there, check them out, um, and then Chick fil A for lunch. And then hopefully it'll be about time for me to go and pick up the next snake, and then I can make the three hour drive back home to turn around and drive 45 minutes for skating practice. Woo! I'm also wearing my new Arm the Animals crop top hoodie. In case you guys missed my announcement on Instagram and Twitter, I am now an ambassador for them. So if you go to their website, I have the link in the description below. If you go to their website and use my code ZOE810, you get a discount on your purchase.
Chick-fil-A Frosted Key Lime, 10 out of 10, would recommend. So I lied, I didn't really shop at Pet Supplies Plus because everything I wanted Petco has and I have a gift card for Petco. So now we're at Petco. focused on flying out of there and getting home that I never like recorded the second snake for you guys. Um, I am now not quite halfway home, almost halfway home. I think I've driven about an hour and I don't know, 20 minutes out of three hours. We're getting there, slowly but surely. So the second snake technically came from a breeder. Um, he had just two little normal hog noses left and I took one. Sound like he was kind of just trying to, you know, get rid of them. He didn't have need for them. No one had bought them from him so far. So I got his mail. He offered me a deal if I took both his male and his female, but I don't need two normal baby hot noses. I mean, I wouldn't plan on breeding them, so I just took the one because I mean, I also got the other snake. But he is absolutely adorable, so precious, so good. They put, they had a little. And they were so good. Like they had this little card for him that says when he was born and his gender. And they kept track of like all the times that he ate and what he ate. And oh my gosh, I am just like so impressed. And you can see him down there. Cute little guy. Hey! So today obviously went very well. I got animals, one being the milk snake that I have been looking for for over a year now, the other being an adorable little hog nose. So I've been wanting a hog nose, but they're typically just way out of my price range, which is why I haven't owned one up until now. This one was way, way, way in my price range, so obviously I had to get it while I could afford it. <laughs> But yes, we have two great new little additions. I am going to be keeping a close eye on the milk snake due to the air he was breathing inside of that house. Um, so I just want to make sure that he is healthy and that there's nothing wrong with him. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on that. But other than that, successful day. <laughs>